you still can see me up in my big truck, boy. Smiling like a little kid when I spin the corner with my brand new toy. I got a dog in the car. Alright, y'all, this is your girl, OTR Diva. Alright, I have some new subscribers. So, I want to welcome everybody to my channel. All my new subscribers, if you want to know when I post a new video, hit the bell. And you'll be notified when I have new videos posting. And for all my subscribers, thank you for still hanging in there with me. Well, let's get to it. So, some of y'all have asked me, was I going to still keep my hair pink? And, because as you can see, it's pink is leaving. Even on the pants. Um, yes, I'm going to keep my hair pink. Not gonna change it, it's gonna stay pink. Um, I was told there was another young lady on the yard with pink hair, uh, but I am gonna keep my hair pink, I'm not gonna change it. So, um, when you see me on the yard, you can call me Miss Pinky, Pinky, Miss Pinky Diva. Um, I answer, all right. So, um, my daughter's still on the truck with me. We are. We've been off the yard for about a week now. Uh, we done went to Denver. Right now we're in California. Try to get this West Coast mess done and over. Then we can head back mid and be on the East Coast. Um, but it's been, been enjoyable. Um, brought her and we got to see the San Francisco uh, Bay. Um, some other things. Um, and if you wonder, I'm, I'm looking around. Yeah, I, I'm at a receiver, so I'm waiting um, to go to the door. <coughs> Excuse me, whenever they get me. So there's a couple of reasons I am going to do a video. So first thing is, hand me that book up there. I want to talk to y'all about these, you know, truck stop guys. So on my truck. I do have Jill. I do have a uh, trucker GPS, as well as I have this pocket size truck guide book. And I do have Trucker Path as well on my phone, which I don't really use, like talk about. Um, I only really use Trucker Path if I'm like in California or up northeast. However, I bought this big book right here. And let me tell you, this has been my friend since I have been in California. Because I'm going to show you something. If I can get to it. Uh, this is where I was. I was, if you can see, I was on... I-5 in California. See all of this? It tells you the mile marker. It tells you what's at that exit and everything like that. It breaks it down to tell you exactly where you can park. This has been my friend since I have been in California. I love this book. If you can find this book, this book was about 20 bucks. I think it was 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. To me, I believe you should have this as well on your truck. This plus this trucker path and a trucker GPS would be good. Now, your trucker GPS might not break down some of the things that are in here, like cutouts and stuff where you can park and everything like that. This book I love because it gives you gravel cutouts for, you know, trucks and where you can actually really park your truck at and everything like that. It'll tell you if you have to pay for parking. It'll tell you about Walmarts in this book. This book has been my friend and a blessing to me. So, um, if you can find this book, get it. If you can get this, get it as well. You have those two essentials with you. Um, to have on your truck all right so that's first thing all right second thing i want to talk to you about is the fact that i know i have had 
people approach me about the fact that, you know, they heard that I'm a mother and they want to know how to go, how do I handle being on the road as a mom? Um, well, this is how I do it. And I'll give you a little background about me as a mother. I have five, I take that back. I have six kids. One I just adopted a couple of months ago. Um, now, out of them, five are 18 and above. Now, my sixth one, he's only four years old. So, the older ones, they grown. So, I don't really have to get home to her and get to them. You know, they call me, they text me. Um, I try to tell them pretty much don't text me because I'm driving half the time. Tell them just to call me. So, they'll call me. Um, or we'll just FaceTime or whatever. However, uh, the little one, I do more video chats with him. Um, I do that, try to do that every day. So that way he doesn't lose sight of who I am. He knows mommy's out here working, doing what she needs to do. I stay out on the road, um, three weeks at a time. I'll stay out on the road and, um, and then I go home for three, three to four days, so that way I could be spend a little time with him. And while I'm out on the road, I will at least try to, you know, if I stop at Walmart, if I stop at Family Dollars, or if I stop at a mall or something, I at least try to find something for him. And I, you know, I have, I go, I go back home and I have a lot of stuff for him, so that way he knows that while mommy was on the road, mommy did think about him and mommy did buy him some things. Um, like the last time I went home, I think I took him an Easter basket. I took him about like four pair, four pair of shoes. And out of four pair of shoes, he can't even wear them now. So <laughs> uh, that's what I do. And then on top of that, I talked before I even decided to drive trucks. I made sure that everything was straight with my kids before I took the leap into driving trucks. Meaning, make sure you have a backup. Make sure you got you got a, a, you know, if A doesn't work out, B can work out. If B, A and B can't work out, you got to C. Make sure you cover your bases of your home life. Because coming to Stevens during the orientation and then the six weeks to eight weeks of training, that is a long time to be away from home. You know, be away from home and not really getting like pay like night not not decent pay where you can actually sit home and say you know this is you know what I got you know just go cover the bills make sure you have all that lined up and then to me make sure you have a good support system so while you out on the road uh, you you can focus on being on the road because um, my husband He's a blessing to me. He used to be a truck driver, and no, we're not doing teams. He doesn't even want to drive no more. So let me just throw that out out there. Um, he works. Um, however, you know he makes sure home is straight. While I'm while I'm out on the road, he makes sure that my our son is taken care of. Uh, when he has to work, he makes sure. It just makes sure everything is straight that way. I don't have to sit. I don't have to worry. I don't have to, you know, be on the road calling to make sure this is done and that is done. My whole focus when I'm on the, in the truck, I'm focused on the truck. I'm focused on the road. I'm doing. My, I'm doing my job. So when I know there's some moms that are single, you know, if your if your mom is still living, their 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 dad, your 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 kids' dad are on good terms. Just talk it over with them to make sure that everybody can pitch in and help out. Or if you're married and you have kids, you know, y'all just pitch, you know, talk it over with your spouse. You know, just try to make sure you have a good support team so that way you can do what you need to do while you're on the road. So that way you're not stressing out and you're not freaking out or anything and your, your mind is, you know, not over here, but it's right here where it needs to be. So that is just my my uh, my thoughts and my opinions uh, my advice to any single moms um, married women any 
and it go it can go for men too you know if you out here you want to make money you know you trying to figure out how to do it when you you know when you're out on the road um and just let y'all know um some men um uh, there are a lot of lizards out here so that there, there is temptation you know when you're away from home but you gotta also think you know what i mean can't be out here doing what you want to do i mean that's your choice your prerogative if you know that's what you want to do but the way i see it think about the, the way i look at it is you don't know what that person may have and then you got somebody who's at home and then when you go home you might you know pass it on to them so you don't want that you don't you want you want to be as open and honest with the other person as at home waiting on you to come back uh for females uh we don't really have a lot of lizards out there you have more of truckers who might want to you know holler at you or whatever like that so i say you know watch what you do when you're on the trucks and stuff like that um or at the truck stops now for me i pretty much barely go to a a truck stop um only time i go to a truck stop is to fill and um if my truck had to go in the shop or if I um I need to take a shower. Other than that, I I rarely saw them go to a truck stop and stay overnight. The only way I will stay overnight is if it's early in the day and I stop before five o'clock. Um and I'll stay at the truck stop. Other than that, I don't stay at truck stops. I will find other places. I don't know, maybe because I just like being by myself sometimes. I don't like being around a lot of people and, and hearing a lot of stuff. Um, um, so I don't, you know, really do a whole lot of truck stops. Now, my other thing, which I'm going to have to start getting used to going to truck stop. Because my other thing is, I am getting ready to come back to the yard once I am done with my daughter on my truck. I am going back to the yard and I am going to actually start um, training. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start um, becoming a, I'm going to go to the yard and become a trainer to actually start training new um, trainees uh, for Stevens. So, um, I don't know how to say this. If you're watching my video, please, 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 please um, refer back to what to bring on your trucker, on your, on your trainer's truck, um, because you do not have that much space on my truck. I will give you the bunk and I, the top bunk and the top part of my, um, my cabinet. But other than the top part of my cabinets, not in the cabinets, but the top part of my cabinets, because my cabinets are filled are filled up. One I keep food in, and the other one I keep my 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 personal stuff in it. But other than that, that is about what are you gonna get when you're on the truck with me? I will be um, laid back um, per se. I will. Let me change that. I'm not gonna be laid back. I am laid back, but I am going to train you. I'm going to train you where you are trained good. You know what you're doing because I know what I'm doing. I'm still a rookie out here, but I know what I'm doing and I don't have any issues with none of my paperwork. Nobody's questioned my paperwork. None of my paperwork is pending or anything like that. So... I know exactly what I'm doing and if I have an issue I have a question I know who to call or I have associates I can call and I can ask you know questions about or anything like that so um yeah this would be uh, a learning experience for the both of us because whoever is my first student uh, my first trainee we will be, we'll be learning this all together 
So um, I'm going to welcome everybody um, that I choose. Um, I I don't like drama. I don't. So um, don't 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 like it. If you're not willing to learn by me and because I don't yell, I don't fuss. Um, I may fuss at my kids. I may fuss at people I know. But if I don't know you, I'm not going to fuss at you. But I will tell you what you need to do and how you need to do it. But I want to get to know you. you know, And that's going to be like, I'm just going to give you a little tad bit. That's going to be like my first two weeks. Or maybe a week, week and a half of actually getting to know you and you getting to know me. So you can feel comfortable and I can feel comfortable with you driving my truck. Driving my baby, my Cass. Because Cass hasn't had anybody else drive her but me since I got her. So, um, yeah. So this would be like a learning experience for the both of us. And this would be our home together. So therefore, I would want you to feel comfortable and everything like that. But if anybody have any questions or anything they want to ask me, they want me to do a video about, please uh, feel free to um, leave me a message. Um, but yeah, your girl is going back to the yard um, next month, sometime next month, to do training, um, to become a trainer. I'm so very proud of myself. I have other big plans that I would like to do while I'm with Stevens. Um, so I don't see myself leaving Stevens no time soon. So I am going to make a career out of this. I am um, getting older. So I got to I gotta start making a career. I got to start thinking about uh, my future. So, yeah, if you have any questions or you want to know anything, um, you want me to do a video about, uh, please feel free to hit me up. I'm going to try to do, I, I have been saying I'm going to try to do more videos, but I literally am going to try to start trying to do more videos um, out here when I'm on the road. And especially when I have um, my student, uh, my trainee on the truck with me. Um, but other than that, y'all, be safe, be blessed, and I miss y'all. Bye. You still can see me up in my big truck, boy. Smiling like a lil' kid when I spin the corner with my brand new toy.